Hello YouTube land, my name is Kestel Caden and today we are going over a tutorial on how to install Mod Loader. First and foremost, Mod Loader is one of the two things that you actually require in order to install mods. Alternatively, you can also use something called Forge, which I'll also do a tutorial on in the near future. To get started, you'll need a few things. You'll need a zip program. Of I'll give you guys a free one, why not? All you have to do is just Google 7-zip and use it from there. Just go to the website and download the exe file right here, and it's free. It's free for you guys, and it's awesome. Alternatively, you can also probably grab the alpha, which works just as well. And uh, it's actually kind of cool. Just saying. You'll be sent to a website here, and then the download link, which is actually right here. To get started on the next step, what you'd want to do is just Google Mod Loader. You'd be able to find it on the Minecraft forum. And it'll actually go directly to the exact website that you need. It'll also go over the instructions, but I'm going to do them for you anyway. So, to get started, what you'd want to do is actually download Mod Loader. I suggest using the Add If Fly link just to give support to, you know, the developers. I personally feel that supporting developers is a great way to go. I mean, it's only five seconds, and if you have ad block, you don't even see the ads. It's actually kind of neat that way, I guess. Okay, so... I know you don't see it right now, but I actually did download it. And I downloaded it quite a few times, so we're actually going to open it. And here you will see the actual contents of it. Don't get you know, confused with this, it's fine. I'll show you the next step. The next step is to go to the Minecraft folder location. Yours will be slightly different from mine. You have to actually find your username. And app data, for example, will be a hidden folder to see hidden folders on your Windows installation you have to go to organize folders and search options tab over to view and make sure that you have show hidden files folders and drives another thing you might want to do for this is to uncheck hide extensions for known file types so you'd actually be able to see what everything is like whether it's a .txt file or otherwise now, once you are in your users slash your username slash app data slash roaming slash dot Minecraft, go in head over to the bin folder. This is where everything is, and this is where you'll want to be. You'll be able to open this up then. I know, although it's a jar, open it up with uh, WinRAR or WinZip or 7-Zip or whatever you have. If this is not, you know, already done for you whether or not this is an actual zip program what you could do is choose or sorry when you open it it'll ask you what you want to open it with or you can just go to open with choose default program and then choose the recommended program make sure that this is unchecked unless you're really sure that you want to do this i do a lot of modding in jar files so i tend to keep it checked but if it's not in here what you'd have to do then is go to browse and then go to program files and then find your 7-zip program so it's all there for you what i'm going to do then really quickly is open it up i'm using winrar specifically but i purchase winrar so i prefer winrar technically speaking there isn't anything different there is pretty much no difference between 7-zip and winrar in terms of you know aesthetics it's just a little different Anyway, so this is the minecraft.jar, as you can see from here. The only thing you'd really want to do right now, before anything else, is delete meta.inf. You want to delete that fo or folder, it'll start deleting it, and you're good to go for now. What you'd also then want to do is drag and drop all the contents from your modloader.zip to the minecraft.jar. Once that's done, you have now successfully installed Mod Loader. Isn't that great? Just to prove that, we're actually going to head over to Minecraft.jar. Or Minecraft, the uh, executable. We'll actually be loading it up. No, I do not wish to update.
All right, so now that uh, Minecraft is loaded up, all you'd really want to do to check is just log in. Once this is logged in, you're pretty much good to go. So let's just create a random new world again. If this loads up, the mod is installed, which means from now on at this point on, you can actually install pretty much any mod you want because mods require one of two things, mod loader installed or forge installed. This is the tutorial on how to get mod loader installed. I will be doing a tutorial on how to get forge installed. From this point on, actually I'm going to show you another way of doing things, or at least the next step. We're going to head over to Ray's minimap, for example, as a just a quick example. We are going to download Ray's minimap. Again, you know, add a fly, why not? It's only five seconds, you guys can do it. Plus again, it helps the developers out. And they do a lot of work to try to keep this from not breaking. Anyway, all you really have to do to install any mods in Mod Loader then is take the contents of the mod, which is usually in a zip file, and just transfer it right over and you're done. And this works for pretty much virtually any mod unless they have specific instructions or specific dependencies. So do keep that in mind. We're actually then going to reload Minecraft uh, the Minecraft executable. And as long as this is loading up, chances are it works. However, we're going to log right in. And you once you, this goes away, you can actually now see that the minimap is shown in the top corner. And that's, a, that's simple, and that is how simple it will be to install mods. Keep in mind that if you have Minecraft 1.4.6, which is shown, or sorry, 1.4.7, you cannot install Minecraft mods that are for 1.4.6. If you have 1.4.7, you need the mod loader 1.4.7. You need the mods 1.4.7. You can't mix and match. Just because the amount of code that differentiates between the mods, chances are you'll crash your game. That is vitally important. Keep that in mind that you need specific versions to run this. Okay? Okay. Anyways, that's about it for this little primer on mod loader. Keep that in mind that once you get the hang of it, modding in Minecraft is easy. What I'd suggest you do though, before getting a little too involved in it, let's say you got something and it works, what you'd want to do is just copy and paste and if something crashes, all you'd have to do is just delete the one that's crashing. Oh, it's actually in use right now. Hold on, I need to close out of Minecraft. You can delete the one that's crashing and then switch back. And that'll be your quote unquote save point. It's a great way of doing it and it's a great way of backing up your stuff in case if something goes wrong. Alright guys, this has been Kestel Caden giving you a primer on how to install Mod Loader and how to install mods with Mod Loader. Keep in mind that this is only one of the two ways of doing it. I will also be doing a Forge based one as well. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I really do. Leave comments down below if you have any questions, I will answer them. Leave a like on the video if you think this has been useful. And subscribe to my channel to see more tutorials every single weekend. I also do gameplays during the week. I have a schedule on my channel which you can check out. And until next time, guys, keep modding.